Hello dear students. Today we will study about uh, trigonometry. It is basically the measurements about triangle because trigon mean a triangle and metry mean measurements. So tri trigonometry is basically the measurements about triangle and uh, we will start from a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle in which we have a 90 degree angle. Let's suppose this is a right angle triangle ABC and this side let's suppose this side is X this side is Y and this side is Z now in a right angle triangle we use a shortcut which is called Soka Tua so -ka Tua basically in all types of uh, right angle triangle we know that the side which is opposite to the right angle or the side which is opposite to the 90 degree angle is called hypotenuse this side AC or Z is called hypotenuse in this triangle and in all types of uh, right angle triangle if we divide let's suppose this angle is theta this is a Greek letter and it is usually used to denote angles so let's suppose this angle is theta and let's suppose this angle is phi okay now in a right angle triangle the ratio between opposite and hypotenuse is called sine theta sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse similarly cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent theta or tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent these are three basic trigonometric ratios and uh, we will be using these trigonometric ratios in different problems in this triangle if we want to find sine theta sine theta we are using this code that sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so if you look about this angle theta the side which is opposite is y and hypotenuse is z so in this triangle sine theta will be equal to y over z similarly we can find cos theta in this triangle cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and if you talk about this angle theta the side which is adjacent is equal to x and hypotenuse is z so x uh, cos theta will be equal to x over z similarly tangent theta will be equal to opposite over adjacent which is y over x but if you talk about the trigonometric ratios with respect to this angle phi we will have different values for example if you talk about sine phi now we are using this angle phi and sine is basically equal to opposite over hypotenuse so the side which is opposite to phi is x and hypotenuse will remain same so we will have x over z here and similarly cos phi will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and if you talk about phi the adjacent side is y and hypotenuse is z so here we will have y over z and uh, tangent phi will be equal to opposite over adjacent so this will be x over y so these are basic trigonometric ratios now we will see applications of uh, these trigonometric ratios if we have a right angle triangle we will see applications of uh, these trigonometric ratios in example one let's suppose we have a right angle triangle and the this side is equal to 10 centimeter and this side is equal to 60 degree and uh, we are supposed to find this side which is uh, let's suppose this is x we are supposed to find value of this side now in this example 
we can use trigonometric ratios. We, uh, we, have, uh, we can use this code SOH, which, which is equal to sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sorry, in this uh, example, we will use this tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this triangle, tangent 60 will be equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 10 and adjacent is x. And we can find this tangent 60 using calculator. This is our calculator and uh, we can find this is tangent. Tangent 60. That will be square root of 3 or 1.73. So this value will be equal to 1.73 that will be equal to 10 over x so x will be equal to 10 over 1.73 so finally we will have uh, 10 over 1.73 so that will be equal to 5.78 5.78 centimeters so this is one of the application of trigonometric identities and uh, we can solve another example let's suppose in this triangle this is a right angle triangle and uh, in this triangle this side is 10 centimeters and let's suppose this side is 16 centimeters and we are supposed to find this angle we are supposed to find this angle now if you talk about this angle the side which is opposite to this angle and the 